Dozen civilians have been killed in a spate of attacks over the past week across the Democratic Republic of Congo's troubled North Kivu province. The armed men used guns and machetes to attack residents of on Friday, local official Fabian Kakil said. District official Leon Kakil Sivu said that the recent surge in violence was due to the attackers taking advantage of a small security presence. Local civil society leader Justin Kavalami blamed members of the Allied Democratic Forces for the attack. According to Reuters, the death toll has risen to 41 following an attack on last Friday by suspected Islamist rebels on villages in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, a Congolese army spokesman said, bringing the total toll in the region to more than 80 since Tuesday. The Allied Democratic Forces, which is also accused of being behind another village assault that killed at least 16 people earlier this week, was originally based in neighboring Uganda. After spreading to the eastern DRC, it pledged allegiance to ISIL in 2018 and has mounted frequent attacks, further destabilizing a region where many armed groups are active. Its alliance with Islamic State is thought to have begun about six years ago, but analysts say those links are tenuous. An online post by Islamic State says one of this week's attacks in North Kivu targeted Christians. Joint military operations by Ugandan and Congolese forces against allied Democratic Forces rebels began in 2021 but they have failed to stop attacks on civilians. The sources of the UK Sky News TV channel report that a Ukrainian combat aircraft struck a target in the territory of Russia for the first time on June 9. A Russian command post was struck near the city of Belgorod. It is currently unknown what type of ammunition was used in the attack. It is also not known if it was a Western weapon or not. The Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine struck the Russian command post in Belgorod. Although the damage assessment is still ongoing, it has been confirmed that it was a direct hit. This is the first airstrike carried out by the armed forces of Ukraine against a target on the territory of Russia, a Ukrainian military source told Sky News on condition of anonymity. The Russian Defense Ministry said its air defenses had shot down a number of Ukrainian drones in the Belgorod region. It was not clear whether this was part of the same attack. The United States and a number of NATO countries have recently authorized Ukraine to use the transferred Western weapons to strike military targets in Russia. However, the US authorization included certain restrictions, strikes can only be carried out in border areas. Recall, Ukraine is slated to receive Mirage 2000-5 fighter jets from France in the coming months, adding another aircraft to Kiev's coming arsenal of Western combat planes. French President Emmanuel Macron announced that France will provide Kiev with the Mirage fighter aircraft after training pilots how to fly the warplanes through a program that will begin this summer. He added that Paris will build a coalition with other countries to supply the jets and that Ukraine could even be flying them by the end of the year. The Mirage 2005, like its F-16 counterpart, is a good fourth-generation fighter jet that will bring some additional capabilities to Ukraine's fleet of aging Soviet-era warplanes. But neither aircraft is necessarily the best fit for Kiev given the current battlefield conditions. With next-gen systems not even up for discussion, the plane that is most suitable for Ukraine remains Sweden's JAS-39 Gripen. The first F-16 fighter jets to be delivered from the West will arrive in Ukraine within weeks, says a high-ranking military source. Ukraine has sought US-made F-16 fighter jets to help it counter Russian air superiority during more than two years of conflict. The Netherlands last month handed over another three F-16 fighter jets to a training facility in Romania, where Ukrainian pilots and ground staff are being taught to fly and maintain the planes in battle. America has backed sending the planes to Ukraine, with Denmark, Norway and Belgium also reportedly involved in the initiative.